Welcome to Cleon Data Analysis Software for Inclinometer and T-Rex Incremental Extensometer. Today, we will see together the basic operations for working with Cleon. Double click on the icon and the software will check the online availability of the new revision and then will be opened on the main page. The first operation that we will see is how to create a new site, new casing, and insert all the relevant data for the site and casing such as site name, customer name, casing name, pro serial number, etc. In the orientation tab you have to insert the azimuth angle of the A groove versus the geographical north. The casing sketch will rotate with the insert data. In location tab can be inserted the latitude and longitude coordinates of the tube head and clicking on the refresh button, the site location will be visible on Google Map. In the same tab, you can insert the tube head elevation above sea level. In the Option tab, a number of options can be selected for the data elaboration. More details about all operations are available on Cleon User Manual that you can download from CISJ website. Now, the site and casing are ready for importing in Cleanometer data. Data can be imported from an old INCLI2 file or from Archimedes data files. Just select the files, open them, and the readings of the actual casings are ready for processing. Select the zero reference reading, click on Measure tab, and flag Is Ref Data. Now select the readings that you want to be processed. Data table for each reading are visible in the lower right window. If you have also spiral sensor data, click on Spiral Metric Measures and import them as already did for survey data. Spiral meter data table is visible in the lower right window. The checksum tab permits to view the checksum graphs for all the readings. Select the survey in the left window and the graphs will change accordingly. The chart base tab show you the main graphs like displacements on A axis, B axis and resultant. In the left window you can select the readings to be displayed in the graphs. In the upper part of the main window, some graph option can be selected like local or absolute elaboration. Data can be also elaborated following Mikkelsen suggestions presented at FMGM 2003, forcing lower casing level without movement. In our example, we fix zero movement level at 30 meter depth. Back to chart base tab, Select or unselect the Mikkelsen flag to graph different results. The 3D chart 
tab show the inclinometer casing behavior in a 3D graph. The graph can be movement holding it with the mouse. The deformation over time tab gives you the opportunity to follow the inclinometer casing deformation over the time at three different levels. The levels can be inserted in the green, blue and red drop-down windows. Now we recommend to save our new inclinometer project. Just click on File, Save As, select the folder and input the name of the project. To create a report of the inclinometer data elaboration, choose from Report icon the report model needed. The report is opened in a word processor that allows to customize the entire layout, such as text, logos and images. In the report file are recorded all the site and inclinometer casing information, row data table, elaborated data table and graphs. Text can be simply customized, like in Microsoft Word, by selecting it and choose Text Styles. Now we can export our report for example in a PDF file. Just choose File, Save As, select the directory and save it. These are the main operations that Cleon can do on vertical inclinometer casings. Thank you for your attention. For more details on Cleon software, contact us, visit CISJ website or refer to related manual.